prices. Yes, 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 it is true. This wig only cost me $20. If you want to know how, let me tell you right now. That little bag under the sink with all that hair in it, yeah, the one in your bathroom, it's right here. I got one too. It's pictured right here. And I went ahead, bought a new closure, and made a brand new wig out of it. If you want to see how, stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. Okay, guys, so you saw how I was bleaching the lace closure. If you want to see a more in depth video, you can just go to my channel. I definitely have a video that I explain what I'm doing with the lace closure. This is my outline for my wig. Don't mind my little head, she a little beat up. She been through it a little bit. Um, but this is my canvas head and I use basically a cheap 99 cent lip pencil from my local beauty supply store and I outline where I'm going to stitch on my sewing machine. So you don't wanna put them too close together. So this is, you know, about a uh, inch apart, a half inch or not a half inch, an inch and a half apart. Um, I kind of left this big space here because I like to hand stitch when I get closest to the lace closure. And this four by four square is where the lace will sit. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off the head and I'm gonna just jump on the machine and start sewing. Okay, so this is the sewing machine that I use. It's the Brother Sewing Machine XM2701. I got it from Amazon for like 80 bucks. I only bought it this cheap because I didn't know what I was doing. I was learning how to use a sewing machine from YouTube and I'm pretty good at it now. So I'm gonna go into my scrap of hair and I found the longest um, bundle. And I'm gonna head, go, go, eh, I cannot speak. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it on the machine and double weft it so that my wig is not tin out, okay? I don't want it to be tin. So this is the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and double weft it on the machine now. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the hair double wefted with the sewing machine. You guys can see that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it on this cap. So you see, it's really on there. And this is a long piece that I have here. I wanna say it's a 24 inch. So I'm gonna keep doing this, going all the way up with all the scraps of hair that I have. Okay guys, so I'm almost done. Um, now I'm up to the cross, <clears throat> the cross stitches. These are the hardest ones for me and I'm gonna not double it like I did the other part of the wig. I'm gonna just single weft it because the hair is pretty thick already. And so far I've used two to four, I think about two to four scraps and it is thick. So I'm gonna just single weft it going all the way up because I don't want the um, top of my head to be too bulky. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the lace onto the top part. And I have a lot of hair left, maybe enough to make another wig, maybe a bob, because this is all that I have left from the scrap bag. Done with this wig, this scrap wig. Um, it doesn't look the best right now because it is gonna need some TLC. So I am going to give it some tender loving care and watch this baby transform into something new. I'm gonna deep condition it and let it dry overnight and then I will be styling it once it is dry. Toodles. So
So this is the finished product of me putting all that scrap hair that I had under my bed and putting it on a wig cap. I washed it, I brought it back to life, and I got a brand new closure from Amazon, which I will link in the description box. It was only $20, and between you and me, when you message them your order number on WhatsApp, they give you $10 back. So technically, I only spent $10 on this hair. And I know you ladies have hair in your bathroom, under your bed, under your dresser. Y'all have it. Stop trying to buy new hair all the time. 2020, let's save a bag, okay? Let's buy other things. Go in that bag, put it together, wash the hair. Trust me, it's going to be worth the time that you put into it. Because this old hair, I'm getting a whole new wig out of it. And I am in love with this wig. And I hope I inspire you guys to go ahead and do the same. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this or the process of me actually bringing it back to life because I did not put that in because, you know, I want to keep it a little short and sweet, a little cute, you know, a little bit. You know, I want to put too much for y'all. But yeah, this is the hair. This is the beautiful closure. It is got to be glued on. And I love it. So you guys, again, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And put in the comments how you brought your dead, 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 dead hair back to life. I'd love to hear from you guys. Peace out and see you in my next video.